Hello, everybody. <sighs> Get that camera down a little bit. There we go. Let's change the scene. Do we want you? Lou? Hmm. Yeah, that's more natural. Doing a new canvas tonight. <sighs> wow, what a week. Everybody had a week? I've had a week. We're wanting to go chase leaves, but we can't figure out where to go, when to go. One person says, oh, it's past peak. Another person says it's next week. At the same place. <laughs> One person said that Grandfather Mountain was done, and another person said, no, it's next week. So we've got lots of fun figuring all that out. <laughs> and, oh, uh, boy, it does take a while to do. And then, of course, we were going to leave, but then the bug started acting up, and it got that fixed. Thank you, the Lord, it for. Wasn't what he thought it was. Yeah, thought it was the bearings, but it was the it was the uh, axle axle knuckles, and boots right next to the bearings. So it was in the same area, making the same kind of noise. So I don't feel too bad as far as my personal diagnosis, and uh, so we are working on. Hi, Jimmy. Hey. hey. It was an honor to meet you and your beautiful wife, Jimmy. It was exciting weekend. We had a great time. Yep. Someone might say, why would you be putting two blue stripes right there? Why would you do that? <sighs> well, there's a really good reason. I just don't know what it is. Ah, uh, isn't that a beautiful sky right there? Mm -hmm. He's doing another painting for one of the um, fall fest winners. Yep. At least I hope it is. I never know what it's going to actually turn out to be. I'm hoping they like it. Yeah. It's like, well, what's this one going to be? <laughs> and uh, we always have a chance to make a difference in this world, in somebody else's life. And we did this weekend. We really met a lot of people. And uh, you know me, I had to find somebody to pray for, and we prayed for people and prayed for everybody. And we had a good time, good time, good time. This is another one of the winners from the Fall Fest. When he gets done with the Fall Fest paintings, um, then he'll continue to do some of the the uh, small canvases, and then um, and then we'll be able to do more of the giveaways mm -hmm. from the the other live streams and stuff. I don't like that brush. We've been doing the small canvases because of the price of um, shipping. It's easier. It's easier for us to uh, ship those. Yep. Well, we're not cheap, but we are frugal. And if y'all wouldn't mind, uh, keep Cousin Eddie in your prayers, because um, uh, he's not been feeling re uh, really well. They, I think they've, it's something with his medication at the moment where uh, it's, it's not right or something. He's had to 
switch doctors or something in, in the past. And so they're still working out that kind of situation. So he's real weak right now. Thank you for balance of blood, balance of life, balance Thanks, in his body. Jesus. Jimmy, what is the, um, Donnie w was wondering what the, um, uh, fall colors situation is over there in Virginia now. Um, as you were driving back home, um, did you notice, uh, any more fall colors? We were kind of wanting to, um, go look at fall colors tomorrow, maybe. And um, they call it chasing we, leaves. We didn't want to. Um, we didn't want to waste a trip, um, not finding any. <laughs> so we're kind of wondering if there, if it's doing a little more changing. I did see um, uh, Eric and Brittany had gone out and found some fall colors. Will and Dawn had gone out and found some fall colors. Um, Eric and Brittany found more uh, on their video than Will and Dawn, but they might have gone to different spots. I'm not sure uh, when Will and Dawn recorded their video. Um, Eric and Brittany recorded theirs on um, Monday, which was yesterday. They said, this is Monday, and of course, theirs was higher elevation. They said they, that it got real colorful in the higher elevation, and they were in the Smoky Mountains. Jimmy said, not yet. What elevation are you, Jimmy, over there? He said the same as here, is what I recall when we had a conversation. Okay. I think he said 1,100 or... 11,000 or not 11,000. He said he saw some spots just before you get to Bristol. Somebody else went to um, on the Blue Ridge and um, when she got higher she saw some color. Uh, it wasn't peak though from what I could see. But it does make a difference too if the sun is shining versus if it's cloudy. If it's cloudy, it, it looks a little more dull color. Spaceman said, hope everyone is doing well and blessed and those that need an extra touch from above, uh, blessed and healed from the Lord. Yeah, that, wow, way to go, spaceman. That's a prayer. <clears throat> that did not work out. Paper towel. I need to turn the music on here. 
Oh yeah. People like to have the music playing. Talk to him. Make sure you talk to him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am. Uh, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to. Joy's do working on something, and I am thinking to my head of where I'm at. The. Um, I'm trying a, a different look tonight, where we are going to have them. Um, it's difficult to get clouds and haze and everything just right with uh, acrylic and um, so I'm working on that today to um, uh, let's see yeah that's about mm -hmm. So we're going to fill that in, and we're going to fill this in, right there. Hmm. Okay, and then supposedly we can brush and take a little bit of this off. Spaceman said, Joy, have you ever been to Roan Mountain? We have been to Roan Mountain. Um, a part of it, anyway, right? There was part yep. of it that was closed. It was around the CV time. And um, we saw, I, I think we saw a little bit of the rhododendrons, right? Yes, that's what it was. Yeah. Quite an interesting history about rhododendrons, too. said you can sing to them sing to them then <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Said is good. watch out don't ask me to sing <laughs> once in a while I do seem like I know how to sing but the rest of the time I don't it's interesting. I don't know why it's like Loving that. It. But uh, it does seem to be like that. What exciting thing did you do today, Annette? Because she's here in the Smoky Mountains. I think she was going to Pigeon Forge today. We're going to meet up with her. Yeah, give her a painting. Yeah. But we might uh, go look for the fall colors the next two days, so... Yeah, we gotta coordinate. We gotta coordinate. I don't think we're going tomorrow, but uh, we want to head to Vir the Virginia line. I thought you were going tomorrow <clears throat> for Roanoke. Well, I was until you said um, somebody said it wasn't started yet. Even well, there's there is some over in the Smoky Mountains at high elevations. Mm -hmm. You mean, but not the Blue Ridge. I haven't heard about the Blue Ridge. Okay. Blue Ridge is farther north. We have to go north. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. If we went to the Blue Ridge up to Virginia and just drove down, we'd We're, have to be there really early in the morning and then drive down in the daylight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I want to do.
country living? He's been, as he's painting these paintings, he's writing every, every when we are for a certain person, he's writing them on the back of his of the paintings now, so we don't get confused. Because we've already misplaced two of the people's request. But that's why he's doing a sun, uh, I mean, a mountainscape, because he thinks one of them wanted a mountainscape, so we have to go back and see which one that was. As I screenshot the stuff, the information, I screenshot the information and sent it to Donnie. And for some reason, I cannot find it in the uh, text message. Oh, you need my phone? I don't know if it's in your phone. Because when my text message gets too full and every and all the apps and everything of all the messages gets too full I have to delete everything because if I don't my phone will tell me I don't have enough room to save my videos so I end up deleting everything off of my phone <laughs> yep Jamie said, always beautiful paintings. I get to, I get to watch just like you guys get to watch, except my arm's moving while I'm watching. Anybody could do this. Anybody could do this. It just takes a little courage. today <laughs> ah right here in town yeah yeah um that's so exciting and it's been your and the biggest one ever also because they haven't built a bigger one bigger than this one yet <laughs> so you've gone yep. to the biggest buckies Annette. <laughs> jamie was laughing at you donnie she said not me she can't any anyone can paint that she said not me <laughs> Yes, you can. Jimmy said he loves the um, colors. Yeah. Jamie said it looks cheerful. How many of, of you, just out of curiosity, I'm, I'm sure Jamie is, um, are, are like, um, are prepped, you know, with like food and what have you, you know, um, in case of anything, like in case of an emergency, in case of, you know, uh, somebody you know, not feeling well or whatever, and you just had to have food there. 
and uh, or um, you know um, or 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 a really bad winter you know that you are are prepared for any of those scenarios including I would encourage you um, to find other heat sources just in case if your heat is only electricity try to find another way to keep warm we installed a diesel heater into this RV Donnie tried to get it on the other day and he had trouble. Nope. And then it just got, took it a minute. It took it a minute to come on. But, but that was the first time of the year. Yeah, that was the first time this year he, he tried to kick it on. But I'm telling you, the diesel heaters, they don't cost that much. And they're safe for the indoors. It's safer for the indoors than um, those propane Propanes. heaters. Propanes uh, can put off a, you know, a dangerous gas that uh, if you're if you breathe it in you can perish you know the diesel heater is not like that at all Donnie can tell you more about that hi Lisa yeah and I got the Chinese one it's cheap and very affordable and um, the one that I got the glow plug wasn't working and they just sent me another one so I need to get a replacement glow plug and then I'll have two I just thought they'd send me another a glow plug or something, and nope, nope, they sent me a whole new one. So I've got one and a half heaters, <laughs> in a way. I think it's time for some green. Wonder if I need to do yeah, something right out of there. Maybe I do. Wow, this is exciting. So I'm seeing these of course this is the front mountains, these are the back mountains. Here's a layer of clouds between them. And uh so now I'm kind of... It almost looks like that's... It, you could almost make that into a cloud. Like in the Smoky Mountains where the clouds come down and touch the mountains, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. So as soon as the brown dries, I might wrap a cloud around the top of the mountain. And, uh, and we're going to put uh, like some of these clouds back here. Those can come right over the mountain. As the mountain dries, see, I'll just go right over that like that. Look at that. And uh, we could actually have a little bit coming down. You know, like it was kind of flowing over. Um, Jamie said it's awesome. Uh, Lisa said it's beautiful so far. Yeah. This is so fun. Hmm. We appreciate, I just want to say, we appreciate everyone who's here um, <sighs> in the chat because um, there's a lot of people out there. Because um, Donnie's working on his hours for uh, this, ch this channel in order to, you know, uh, reach either early monetization or regular monetization, depending on how fast he gets his subscribers to get to the, uh, I forgot to set up the video too, of, to, to get the, oh, uh, the time-lapse, the yeah. time-lapse one. Yeah. 
Whatever happened to that one last week? It's, Did you already st it's, load I, it? I transferred it to my computer, but I didn't edit it yet. Okay. And I did it in the, um, uh, you know, the vertical. Mm-hmm. That makes YouTube happy. They seem to be really, really into that. It's so important to them now. Hi, Nisi. She's our Cabbage Patch Girl. We love her so much. <laughs> he said you're... He said you're our Cabbage Patch Girl, Nisi. Nisi mm. loves purple. <laughs> mm. Annette said um, they'll probably be in Gatlinburg on Thursday. Yeah, leave us some way of getting a hold of you she right did. when we're... I, I have her contact info, no worries. Oh, good, all right. We've, it's just that we were We've neglected that a few times and what, regretted. What we miss people. we're going to be out and about. So I'm just messing with the sky, dealing with the higher things right now on the on the scope here to, um, you know. Are you going to like um, um, Anakista or Dollywood or anything like that while you're here, Annette? Hi, Hookah Homestead. Now, uh, sh you won uh, one of the Fall Fest prizes but I can't for some reason I can't remember which style of painting you were interested in CB Huga Homestead Huga Huga Suzanne. <sighs> good, good. That's starting to look like that. That's making that valley look like it's full of clouds. We're having success with making that look like that. I'm happy. We already have Suzanne's name, I believe, or did we write her name on the back of that? Yes. Name? Yeah. So yeah. Suzanne is getting the um, snowman. Snowman. You want to show it? I can show it. Go ahead. I'll do it. Okay. Right in there. We've already got Suzanne's name on this, so we have to mail it. This is for Suzanne. She really liked the snowman looking at the star. Donnie's getting these ready to mail. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I like getting stuff in the mail. Makes it feel done and like I've accomplished something. It's not done until it's in the mail. Like they say, it's not done to the paperwork's over. So. Hooga said, I love the mountains. Okay, so then this one, that's what we were thinking, that mm -hmm. one or two people said the mountains. And I wanted to paint it while you were watching, if you so, don't mind. So this is going to be your painting, CB, right here that he's doing. <laughs> so stay tuned. <laughs> 
She said, my new camper build is done in the mountains. Well, good. Jamie said, mine was a scenery one. Yeah, we wrote your name on yours. Where's last week's painting? I can't find it. Uh, Suzanne I said it's, said, said it's um, somewhere, it's somewhere to dry. around here. Just keep painting. I said it's on somewhere it. to dry. Yeah, just keep painting. Uh, Suzanne says she likes the fog in the valley. We get that a lot here. Mm hmm. Yeah, me too. And, so, you know, so it's... Luca said, cool. So you get to watch, you get to watch your painting being made. <laughs> See these? Uh. Jamie watched hers being painted live too. Feel free to say stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've had Joy do that to me before. I, you know, I, sometimes I don't know when to quit. And she'll say stop right there. Because I am so guilty. Jamie said they're all beautiful, Donnie. No, they're not. Some are much better than others. But thank you. I don't mean to insult your wonderful compliment. See, I'm making a plateau right here. Nisi said um, she may be back in a little while. She's got to help her son. Uh, little man do um, his math and it takes him a good 30 minutes okay. She said if you if she, if if you're finished by the time she gets back she'll catch the replay thank you so much oh no we'll wait for you i'm just <laughs> gonna stop right now no for math no. yeah math is more important i'll just wait uh who was it that did that that was so funny during their act okay well we'll wait and okay. everybody in the auditorium had to wait we have not bought the the uh, dollywood stampede tickets yet no we weren't able to remember Nisi's laughing at that um, no, we just... We I needed know, to know it, the day. It just slipped our mind for some reason. We needed to it's know the Friday, day. It's going to be... This, I need to know the Saturday. Saturday. We were going to do it Saturday. Because yes. We figured Friday would be really busy at Dollywood. And we were going to do Dollywood on Friday. Because we've got other family coming. Our... Second family. Darcy. Yes, our second family. Ones they are not afraid to call sister. <laughs> Jamie said, well, then I'll nap during math. <laughs> Here, we're not waiting for math. <laughs> <laughs> All right. learning how to pick up and move paint too there's a sometimes you have to put some paint in one spot and some in another and it is difficult to move paint around unless you've got a really good idea of what you're doing And then what I can do here is said, oh, wow. Yep. Hey Lisa, because uh, when we went to visit the family, um, 
That was during when my mom, my, for my cousin's funeral. Um, Donnie took the family each a painting. I can't remember, Lisa, what, what was the style of painting that he had for you? Was it the mountains or, or was it like a snowman scene? I can't remember. I don't remember what we gave her. Sherry's might have been a snowman scene, I can't remember. I think you did Lori one that was kind of space or something. Yep, yep, with the planet. Huga said grazing deer or fir tree in the mountains. It looks good. A fir tree like a like a like a Christmas style tree. Oh, not like bear fur or something like that. No. Fir tree. No, that's not it. That's not it. Jimmy said he loves this one you're doing. <sighs> I appreciate everybody sitting down and taking the time to watch what happens. I really appreciate that means a lot to me. And it's, it's really helping him gain his hours that he needs in order to get monetized. Yeah, because... A little bit more distant than that. It needs to be a little browner, but a little lighter. Trying to push this this grassy out a little bit further. And as we get over here, we get a little darker. Get some more brown into that green, green and brown, even a little more brown than that. Lisa said hers was water and trees, it's beautiful, and up in the living room. Oh, wow. Place of honor, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, yeah, see, I want to... Mm -hmm. We need to find a, a painting for um, Marie, too, because she really wants a painting. Okay, now don't everybody be shocked here, but I have to, I have to build a little plateau here. And, uh, And 
let this dry because I'm going to put a tree there. And so then we're going to take, um, maybe we'll put a little ledge right here. Hi, Nancy. I really get the very interesting colors when, when um, I have two colors on the same brush at the same time. It's it's just amazing that uh, I'll touch the brush and and then I'll touch into a different color and then all of a sudden, boom, something really cool happens. And uh, I wish I knew how I did it so I could do it again. <laughs> Trying to get a little bit of life in the distance over there. And uh, what I do is I use my fan brush to make tree trunks. In just the right spots. And my fan brush is so broken, it looks like, um, you know, I can hit it just. You might need a new fan brush. <laughs> well, no, it, I want it to be spread like that. I want it. To, that's the way I want it. That's the way I want it. Just because it gives me a, a look of trees in the distance. It's not exactly what I want, though. But I can always fix it as time goes by. As time goes by. See, and then I'll put a little bit of dirt right under him. And we'll wash that down a little bit. I really like the way this this plateau right here kind of stumbles down into the grass. I think that looks really good right there. And I'm wanting to bring a few a few rocks out, kind of where these are living right here, like a. Let everything have a chance to be a part of the painting. I never know what the brush is going to do. And I just hope that it does what I ask it to, what I want, what I see. Because sometimes I want what I see, I grab a brush to do, and a brush does not understand. <laughs> it totally misses what I was trying to do. Like, oh, come on, you know what I meant. Hey, I'm just doing what you tell me. It's a little irritating. A little irritating. But, as you can see, I can... I can bring the grass back in a little bit like that and and then uh, take this over here and run a little bit of a 
Yeah, kind of like that. Cool, cool, cool. All right. <sighs> I want you to know it's really easy to put water at the bottom of this. But I'm not going to do it. As much as I would like to chicken out and put water down here. Where that light brown is, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to see what kind of contours in the land I can develop. And, uh... Jamie said, oh wow, it's looking spectacular. Yeah, I'm getting a nice little plateau right here. That butts up against that mountain. Kind of runs up there a little bit. And comes down over here. A little bit of green grass. Fresh brush. Mm -hmm. Just kind of darkening up my clouds a little bit right here. Kind of bringing in. I was thinking this was a mountain, but it's looking more like a cloud, so I've got to turn it back into a mountain a little bit. And, uh, Thank you, Jamie. She said, please smash the like button. There we go. There we go. All right. I do have a brush right here that's good at making trees. And I'm wanting to make some trees down in here in the distance. Let's get some trees in here. Yep, that's them. Touching the green, touching the brown, touching the canvas. I'm gonna take a little bit of black and uh, make a few trunks. So you make a few, a few little scratches on the canvas. Oh. Uh, most scratch, most tree trunks are straight up and down, Donnie. Let's make sure we do them straight up and down. Um, we're gonna put a few more right there. And then we take um, the light, the light brown. We're gonna take the light brown and kind of touch it to the tops of the trees. And 
This has got just a little bit of white mixed, kind of swirled in with it. Catching the light a little differently. And then uh, we take a little bit of brown and put some soil underneath the trees. Since there'll be a little Thank shadow. You, Jamie. She's, she said she hasn't been feeling very well the past couple of days. So she's going to go to sleep now. We Thank bless you your body. Me. Bless your sleep to be a healing. Sweet sleep. Sweet sleep. Healing Jesus sweet name. Sleep. Jesus Rejuvenating. Sweet Rejuvenating sleep. healing sleep. And, and bless we bless your immunities to God work hard the during the night to sleep. kill everything that is not of God. Anything that's not of God is not in you in Jesus' name. You shall wake refreshed. Thank you. Exactly what I'm looking for. Not quite. Exactly what I'm looking for. Whoever watches the replay, we want to say thank you very much. Whoever's watching on television, thank you very much. If you're watching and not chatting, thank you very much. Yeah. Let's see, maybe it's this brush. You know, a certain brush makes a certain kind of thing that makes a, a certain kind of mark, but each mark has a different distance. A brush that makes a tree 10 feet away cannot make a tree 100 yards away. It doesn't have the right. Hmm. I don't like this at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that to like a steep little green field that's dropping down. trying to do here. 
there's something going on right here and I have to figure out what it is. It's like this part of the mountain has a secret. And we have trying to figure out what that secret is. There's something going on right here. I haven't figured it out what it is yet. It seems to be coming, becoming like a haze. I can still see the mountain in the background, but it's hazy now. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and see if we can bring that haze up a little bit. Boy, that's interesting. I need my khaki. Are you going to try to do a little bit of the cloud peeking over the this mountain too, like it is that one? Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe we should do that, huh? You could even do a little bit of cloud this in this area yeah. if you wanted, you know? That's kind of what that turned into, was like a, a little bit of a cloud. I need it to needs put... needs more white. Yeah. If you're doing that, because it's brown now. I don't think you got the right color, you just need white. Yep. It's hard to, hard to do, because you have to mix in the white and then the water, and then if you do it too much, the white covers. It doesn't, it doesn't um, evaporate correctly. And, uh, Make sure everybody's praying for the peace of Israel. Yeah, what's going on now? I haven't been hearing anything the last couple of days. The only thing I saw was, I don't know if it was current, but it said Israel was calling for the seas of all Hamas um, run area. Hmm. Whether anybody likes it or not, God calls Israel, the, the Jews, the apple of his eye. We just happen to believe the
This is very original. I have never done haze in a valley before. This is really, really good. You can see the mountains on the other side of it. Just a little hazy. You can see through the clouds. Hazy in the background. Maybe I could take um, a very tiny brush, or at least a very sharp, very sharp brush. Maybe that's not sharp. Amanda yeah. said she's really liking this coming together. Good, good, good. She's the one that counts. <laughs> Huga is the one that counts. Huga the one that counts, yeah. I mean, I'm going to remember this the next time I have to do a a cabin smoke smokestack. Little hazy coming through. Like I said, she's loving it. Well, okay. I'm not giving in to the idea of a lake and water because I'm lazy. I am seeing like the reflection of the mountain down here at the bottom. And look at this green here, right here. It looks like it's right there as well. So you see, if I take a little bit of this, um, and the green and some black and I mark and I mark just a little bit right there and then right there in the opposite direction let's get a little bit more black here I could do that right there and right right there and then, see this piece right here? You kind of imitate it backwards, like that, and you put that there, and, and you put this here, like that. How are you tonight? Okay. So I am seeing like a dark, dark line here. See, what I can do, see, is I can make a black line right here, fade it into there, then take the, um, the green and brown, green and brown, 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 where's brown? Brown, 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 there's brown.
Okay, then I take the green and the brown. And let's see, that's not quite light enough. We need to add some white to that. I'm remaking, I'm actually going back to a previous color here because I can take this and kind of, let's see what that is, I can, how to do that, boy. Green, brown, white, And if you push it over the black, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm starting down on the black and bringing it up. And um, I don't have the paint mixed. Rhonda's mom is having an echocardiogram tomorrow afternoon and she's asking for prayer. Echocardiogram. Well, thank you, Lord. The machine is properly calibrated. No mistakes. Perfect diagnosis. Perfect uh, wisdom, no confusion over that. That uh, the results are easily readable, no confusion, Good and the exact, exact uh, need is met. Exact need is met. Well, I guess we can use up a little bit of that paint over here. Thanks, Donnie. You're welcome. All the best to you. All the best. Now we're going to take a little khaki and we're going to make a, a shoreline with some khaki and some green and some brown. And that should give us a nice dirty a nice little dirty looking shoreline that'll go off into the distance here. We add a little white because we're going in the distance here. We add a little white. I can see I'm missing something. So we're going to pull in turn that over. Okay. All right. So now we need our silver and use silver in a while but it's good for water it really makes water look real to put silver in it but I haven't used my silver in a while oh there's no that's timeless gray but that may have to do mix a little timeless gray and white together and see if that gives us a nice greenish gray kind of water look. We want some water, a little bit more, maybe just a touch of blue in there and some green. Boy, that's an interesting color. I don't know if that's a water. Ooh. What do you think? Is that like a watercolor? I 
notice that her mom's been going to therapy also. Hmm. I do kind of like that. Maybe a touch of gray, a touch of green. And let's see if we get a, a contrasting color. Touch of gray, touch of green. Mixed in with that blue. And see if we can't. Get a little bit of a mountainy. I'm just gonna email us the results when they get them. <sighs> and here's the fun part is that you now you take water and you mix water with paint that you just painted the water with. And you take that and you go over the green. You might say, oh, that's crazy. No, actually what it does is it looks like that, but then within a few seconds, as it soaks in and dries, it, it gives you a looking through the water look. Like it's a shallower area, but yet it's still water. And see, we're going to retract. We're going to retract up this hill here. See, and bring the 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 watered down watercolor up the hill. And that watered down watercolor should be able to be seen through. And if you can see through it, where am I at? Here am I at. Then all of a sudden, I've just raised the level of the water in the lake. Rather interesting, isn't it? See how it's see how it's coming back through. That's why I did those marks earlier, because it's coming back through. And as it comes back through, it shows the water as being translucent and deeper. And uh, all I have to do is, and if I do it too little, that's okay because I can just come back and paint another coat. And then as that dries, it'll It'll let the bottom show through again. Now you can see. See how that looks? That looks great. That's doing something spectacular right there. Let me get my other brush out here. I gotta make sure I get brushes in the water here. I've got a couple hard brushes. It's time to go buy brushes and I feel sorry for my brushes because I, I, um, I, the next day I find them rock hard <laughs> because I, Laid them down. I didn't put them in the water. I feel bad. It's like I wasn't created for this. So. Mm-hmm. I think we'll do just another. Do another layer right there. These are like rocks that are under the water, see? And then I'm going to um, reinitialize my island here and push the push the island color Black, brown, everything all mixed together. 
And now we're gonna take our, our little lake island and we're gonna push it back up into the water to give ourselves a look of, of a sharp, sharp shoreline right here. And uh, and that way we can put something there like a tree or something and it'll be And, oh, that's a good point. If I put little strands of grass and things like that, I can put flowers on top of that later. After that dries. And we've got a nice, nice contrasty little island there. Now, another thing that I do is, um, See, this grass brings that forward so that you're seeing grass now. And it's not a distant rock. It's actually grass. And we're going to put a tree right there. And then we take our other brush. And wait till you see this. We're going to put a, a few splashes and some shoreline on there and when we put that shoreline on there that will differentiate the height of the water so when i touch this oh that's too much so when i do this that tells your eye where the water is on the shore. And we're going to bring that right around here. See right there, that's sand. This is water. Water's right here. And I'm going to try to hit that right at the color change. There we go. That's a little bit too much. I don't know if I've ruined it, wrecked it, or made it perfect, but let's find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back, take some of that off. Yeah. Okay, now you may not be able to see it. You may not be able to see that, but here are the mountains reflecting in the water. There is the level of the water, and then there's the shore, and then there's the grassy field. Boy, that's, that's something right there. That's really something. We can actually, we can actually take, um, well, well, I don't want to get sidetracked here, but I'm going to take a watery little bit of this paint right here, water it down, and put a little peak right there in the reflection of the water. I'll darken that spot right there. Amanda said that's um, awesome detail, Don. Yeah, and believe me, it's happening for me right now. I am, I am just as excited as you are to see what God's doing here. I'm just trying to define my shoreline. See, and then if I water this down just the right amount, I should be able to put a, a couple of little you know, streaks across here. to really help sell the idea. Because what I've been learning is that these brush strokes are nothing unless the brain 
assigns it a meaning. And as soon as the brain recognizes it and says, that's above water, a below water, you see it. But until that point, you just kind of like, what the heck is that? And uh, so, all right, see, now that's brought it a lot closer. Hi, Robin. We've got our haze, we've got our clouds. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind just a little ha more haze there. I'd like a little bit more. Um, this looks a little bit too far away. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pick up some green and some black. And see if I can't make them. Um, like a little bit of a grass overhang. Uh, it, grass would really bring this a lot closer. It wouldn't look so far away. There we go. Yeah. Maybe we need a little bit of, well, a little bit more plateau underneath this cloud. Okay. Ooh, that's exciting. Whew. I'm just staring at the that's the thing about painting with imagination. You don't have the same uh, perceptions, the depth perceptions, if you don't uh, mark things out ahead of time and have a plan. Like that. Okay. And see if I take a little bit of that water again. And I get a little bit of color in the white. And really water this down. I should be able. That might be too strong. Let me add a little bit more water. Take out a little paint. Add a little bit more water. And uh, this week, Abraham Hunter, if anybody knows that name, is going to be in town. I hope I get a chance to see him and I'm not in Virginia somewhere chasing leaves. But if I am, I am. That's all that I am. Just tickling, just tickling, just tickling. And uh, I, I'm always scared to do this, but I have learned that if you've added water, most of this color is going to disappear as it dries. Most of this color will disappear. We'll just leave a little bit of a haze right there. And then we'll go ahead, bring that haze down over this a little more. There we go. And we'll put a little bit right across there. As this cloud is demonstrating its desire to be a cloud. I can add a little bit more water. I think you should try to make it, break it up and not like a solid, you know. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's take a little bit off right there. And right there. Sometimes I've, I've wiped paint off and had the best results. <laughs> Rhonda said, very pretty painting done. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank, thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank, thank you, Rhonda. Hmm. Amanda said, the cloudy haze there is bringing it all together so beautifully. Thank you. Yep. See, that's just... Maybe I... I just tell me to stop. I, I think maybe I... I should leave that alone. Maybe I should just leave that alone right there. And then, um, are you going to do something with this brown patch down here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put a tree here. Put a tree there. Not so big, like a pine tree or something. Mm -hmm. or a couple little pine trees right there. Yeah, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Well, where's that one thing we had? That we did the other day. Mm. How about the one on the by the uh, by the window? Would that help me if I had that one? I still don't even know where the late where the where last Tuesday's is. Yeah, if you did it like the like the pine trees right here. Mm-hmm. Maybe just a, a few little touches. Oop. Like these pine trees, like a little, like a little group of three or something. Put them over, put them over there, yeah. That would look pretty. There'll be a few spots where they're they don't, clouds. They're not real tall. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, just up, up here. Not real tall. Yeah. Like, don't cover up your brown mountain. Just take it up into it a little bit, like maybe the top one. Take it up into it a little bit, and then the other, the others are a little mm -hmm. shorter. And just said, "You're welcome, Donnie." Mm -hmm. I need a little bit of white right there. I've got to separate the top of this mountain. It looks like purple clouds. There we go. See, this has to go real strong. Come on. See, that popped it out from the... It was joining the mountain. 
it was joining with that purple mountain. I couldn't have that. I had to make it pop out from that other mountain by adding a high contrast color. See, now that, that looks really good. That looks like distant foliage. Things are growing up there. Very good. Okay. Donnie's happy now. I'm going to ease up that corner a little bit. Beautiful. Okay. Where was I? All right. We've got our mist. We've got our clouds. We've got our mountain. I like the, the All right. Now we're going to do the pine trees. All right. So we need tiny brushes. We need brown. Let's do black on one side. And beigey brown on the other side. <sighs> scary, scary, scary. on one side, beige and brown on the other side. All right. I'm going to put source of light over there. Yes, source of light is over there. So that means this side is beigey side. Beigey side. Make sure your phone isn't low charged or anything. Uh, it is. I'm going to say uh, you're not moving. My, my picture wasn't moving. Didn't yeah, it was Donnie. His um, low his battery phone went to low battery, and he did not have it plugged in. So when that happens, then the picture doesn't move until he gets rid of that uh, pop-up that says low battery. <laughs> he just plugged it in. I didn't feel the phone vibrate when I plugged it in, though. So hopefully it's plugged in. I don't know if you can check without... No, you can't. You can't? You can't. Okay. Just hurry up and finish it, and you'll be good. All right. All right. And of course, like Bob says, you got to make the back of the tree first. So we mix some black and some green together, and we're just going to come down. This 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 is going to be Thanks a. For joining us, Amanda. This one's going to be a, a. How did I do that? I don't know. This one's going to be a pine tree. Boom! 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 We did it. <laughs> okay, back of the pine tree, just right here at the top. Okay. Now, time to do back of the pine tree on the other one. Here we go. Well, it's not really a pine tree. Okay. 
Here we go. Nope, not ready. All right, green, brown. Everybody's mixed together pretty good. Here we go. And a couple more right there. Keep it simple, Donnie. Keep it simple. Right there at the top. We need a little bit right there at the top. Somebody had better yell stop. All right, so that's the back of the tree. Now we're gonna take a little white. And a little bright green, just a tad. Just a tad, put the front side of the tree on. And a peak. Okay, and a peak. And a front side of the tree over here. And right there. Okay. Said it's looking wonderful. Yep, we got it. We got it. We got it. It's unbelievable, but we did it. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to touch a little white in there. Give that just that little bit of right there. Just a place for that tree to reflect. Just a little more of itself. So that everybody knows I am the best looking tree around. <laughs> no, ain't no tree better than me. All right, and then all I gotta do, since I um, have a little bit too much light right there, I just go in and tap some of the dark. We're gonna leave that alone. No, we're not. Right there. Oh, and you know what? Thank you, Annette, she said. And Annette from Wisconsin said, Joy, I can't wait to meet you and Donnie. Yeah. It is going to be so fun. we got to find out when the leaves are happening. We've got to find out. 
My brown disappeared again. How does that brown disappear? I don't get that. There's blue, purple. Where could the brown have gone? Green? There it is. Why did they put brown paint in a white tube? I don't know. <gasps> oh my goodness, it got squished. There's brown paint all inside the cap. Dang on it. Whoa, a blooming mess. Well, maybe something else needs some brown paint, and I didn't know it. <laughs> so, I've got some brown paint now. Sitting out. All right, the brown bottle is snapped tight this time. And my tools are falling on the floor, which is so irritating. And now... Clean off my brush and get a little bit of that brown right there. We got to make a little stem on the tree. I'll tell you, that tree looks so realistic. That that Bob Ross thing that he does with these trees, it is just wonderful. Okay, that's it then. All right, so that's done. I'm gonna take a little brown and a little gray, and boost up my soil a little bit here. The, 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 the soil around the tree is looking very realistic too. I am very happy with my little island here. It's looking very realistic, very realistic. And the gray and the brown together almost looks like a rock. Almost like some rocks are right here. And uh, they're coming down to the shoreline. The little gray rocks are right here at the shoreline. Where the water is lapping up against them. And uh, so we're putting some gray right there. And I can see the tree has lost a little bit of trunk, so we're going to add a, some roots to that tree. You know what? That's too big of a brush. But it's not too big to finish this, so. Oh, boy, that's like a little path that somebody's been walking around. Some grass that's been growing along the edge of the water. Whew, boy. It's a good thing I'm giving this one away. But I want it. <laughs> he does say that sometimes. I, do, I tell you, I like this one. Okay, now we're bringing down our trunk a little bit into some... To give it some growth into the ground. It has to hold on to the ground, you know. We can't just have a trunk... That doesn't do anything, so we've got to get it into the ground. And uh, that's it. Wow. Well, this was certainly fun and an experience, a brand new kind of thing. We all get to do this together. When you watch other painters, you know what's going to happen and you know what's going to turn out. But with me, most of us are just now thinking, I forgot to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Spaceman. He said painting looks like it is one of the 17th hole of a big western golf tournament. <laughs> oh, that, that's kind of true. That's kind of true. It does have a kind of a whole hole in one look.
There's maybe a little, little bit of grass right there. Just a little bit of grass stomped right in here. Thank you for joining us, Rhonda. She's going to go take care of her mom. And uh, we're looking forward to meeting the people and mailing off paintings. This will be a giveaway. Yeah. Oh, you want to show the other one? No, end it. Oh, I'm ending it. All right. Well, bless you. Thank you so Love much. you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Rhonda. Yeah.